Hey guys! And welcome to a special episode of Master the Russian Cases through Examples. Today we will practice the accusative case singulars and we will look at the accusative plurals by decorating the Christmas tree. It's already a little bit decorated, but we will finish it. So let's get started. I'll speak mixed English and Russian to explain the grammar to you, so activate the subtitles to follow me better. And we will start with singulars. Мы будем украшать елку. Сначала повесим на елку матрешку. Эту матрешку мы повесим вот сюда. А теперь повесим на елку елку. Елку вот сюда. А теперь повесим на елку ящерицу. Но ящерицу мы на елку положим, мы не можем ее повесить. И повесим на елку Деда Мороза. Деда Мороза. Деда Мороза мы повесим вот сюда. И повесим на елку вот этот шарик. Шарик. Сюда. Нет, вот сюда. Now I will quickly remind to you that if it's singular feminine, we always change the ending no matter if it's animate or inanimate. Матрешку, ящерицу. And if it's masculine, we don't change the ending if it's inanimate, never. And for example, шарик. It remains the nominative. And we change the ending if it's animate. For example, деда мороза. We change the ending into a. And if the ending was soft, we should change it into ya. And now let's get to plurals. Повесим на елку вот эти снежинки. Одну снежинку мы повесим вот сюда, а другую снежинку вот сюда. А теперь повесим на елку белые шарики. Повесим шарики. Один шарик сюда и другой шарик повесим вот сюда. Теперь давайте повесим на елку золотые шарики. Один золотой шарик сюда и один золотой шарик а, вот сюда. А теперь давайте повесим на елку ангелов. Какие красивые ангелы! Одного ангела мы повесим вот сюда, а другого ангела мы повесим вот сюда. И, наконец, мы повесим на елку кукол. Кукол. Одну куклу мы повесим вот сюда, а другую куклу вот сюда. Now I will quickly explain to you the rule about plurals. So, if it's plural for the accusative case, we should think in the very beginning if it's animate or inanimate. When I'm saying animate, it means if it represents a living creature, even 
kukla would be animate because if there is a face, we mean that it's a person or an angel, angel. It's also animate because it's a creature. Even if we don't know if they uh, exist or not, personally, I do believe that they exist. Uh, so, if it's inanimate, like shariki and snizhinki, we would leave the nominative case here. Мы вешаем на елку снежинки, мы вешаем на елку шарики. But if it's animate, we should take the genitive plural. We haven't learned it yet. That's why just listen how it sounds. Мы вешаем на елку кукол, dolls, ангелов, angels. Okay. So, if it's a living creature, if it's animate, if it represents a living being, we should take the genitive plural and not the nominative plural. So, accusative case, it's kind of a mix of nominative and genitive when it comes to the ending. But it will get clearer with experience if you listen to the language more, if you read more. And if you know all the cases, so in the end it will get clearer. Okay, I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed decorating the Christmas tree. See you!